Hello and welcome back Legionaries, Mars Hill Magnus here bringing another 2v2 ranked game with myself, Mars Hill, Jizzle89 playing as the Ottomans against Beware of the Camel, or Beware of Camel, playing as the Addisid Abbasid Dynasty, and Lil Buff McNugget playing as, is that the Delhi Sultanate? It is the Delhi Sultanate. So yeah, it's been it's been a little while since I uploaded our last video, or my last video rather, uh, but my Jizzle89 and myself are continuing our ranked climb um still in gold too um and you'll see here that we're, we're we're attempting just like double ottoman pressure you'll see as we get into the game um going for the standard build um i think i messed this up a little bit i was panicking if i recall correctly but getting five villagers onto your stone they come back um and then you go ahead and build your military school or military academy i believe it's called um james is he had a spreadsheet in front of him for the build order so he was doing far better than i was it's been a little while since i played the ottomans over by beware of camel he's going straight for his house of wisdom getting out his uh, his mill to get the i believe it's the benefit from the berries or do they gather from the berries quicker i cannot recall immediately um but they are is this the delhi sultan no that's the abbasid so delhi sultan might be going for his berries early and he has because it increases the amount of berries to 350 from 250 so that's a lot of food just from berries and a high gathering rate, I believe, as well. Uh, House of Wisdom is up. A few people still on sheep and he's moving his villagers over to gold so he can get that age up quickly. Over on our side, um, Chisel 89 has got his his uh, military school up, pumping out spearmen. And I have as well. I'm a little bit late to the party, actually quite late to the party. Um, compared to his as he got his out much earlier. So I think his will be out like almost no. 20 seconds earlier compared to mine. If we go back to our team's view, um, we can see that we haven't really scouted much of the area. As you can see that we, are, we aren't we are very good uh, scouters. Should be scouting this out much earlier. We're already two minutes into the, into the game. James has gone straight for the back and he's going to spot out uh, Beware of Camel and see that he is gather gathering uh, some berries here. Over on the north side, I am about to pull into Lil Buff McNugget. I think um, what I'm looking for here is essentially to see how many people he has on gold and if he has any people on stone. Um, again, I think it's, they start, I think civilizations usually start gathering stone. Um, as they're aging up, so they could get the town centre down as they have completed their age up. But maybe, maybe I don't think I don't think Delhi does this. Um, again, I've only played this in my second game against Delhi, and yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He pulled. Uh, he had four or five villagers on here, and they pulled away. If we go over to his view, and he he is going for the Dome of Faith with only one person left on uh, on on gold. If we go back to reveal map, reveal law. Let's have a look here. So James, or Jizzle, sorry, has already got his um, his uh, early pressure out of his spearmen and is going to stop actually gathering um, gathering gold, but they're already aging up. But you're just trying to prevent them having enough gold in the bank in order to get some economic upgrades. Spearman is now coming out for me. I still have my scout around the back here. Um, four villagers still producing or constructing the Dome of Faith, the age two religious landmark for the Delhi Sultanate. Uh, meanwhile, in our bases, we are still a little bit behind. I know I am. Um, I think I... No. Did I get all the gold I needed? Yeah, I, I was completely messing up my build order. Meanwhile, over here, still two people on gold. One rogue sheep here, not actually doing much. You'll probably pick that up at some point. But he, is, he has got a lot of sheep and a lot of villagers on on uh, on his... Um, villagers on his sheep. Getting that food in. Over by, over back by uh, Orange, Jizzle89 uh, now has two, two of his spearmen out, um, and he's going to look to take out this. Hopefully, take out this. Um, oh, is he going to get him? No, no, he missed. He missed. I mean, if he killed that, he would have got nine sheep out of that. Over by Lil Buff McNugget, I am harassing his, his gold. Um, so he hasn't been able to harvest gold for a little while. He sends his units in. I spot it and I immediately pull my pull my spearmen out, waiting for the next chap to come out. I think if I, I think I'm consolidating my forces from now, and I think I swap this over to Spahi or Sipahi. 
think James has already done that. No, he's still doing Spearman, and he is just aging up himself. So we're both a little bit behind the enemy team in terms of age up, but we are applying pressure early. Um, Orange's immediate response is to get some archers out to counter the Spearman. And over by the purple side, I've almost managed to kill one villager, and he is also going for a specialized pick in order to get the gather rate higher on his gold since he is a little bit high. Now, yeah, I've, I've caught some idle time, so I'm happy. Um, we did just hear a. What am I talking about? Of course, the deli get there. He gets all of his bloody um, research for free. Okay, fair enough. Jizzle's now hit age two he's now going to look into wait i, I don't I don't, i'd almost get people on these berries immediately because then it's just a cycle of food um because they replenish every two minutes after you exhaust one berry and you get four berry patches on here so what we should have done is probably initially got five villagers until he gets his first um horticultural upgrade and it goes down to four and i think the one after that is three for the last two upgrades thereafter over by Lil Buff McNuggets base, we are causing a little bit of havoc. We have some rogue spearmen just running around here. One still holding off and preventing him getting gold in, but they are responding with archery rangers. And as they are responding with archery rangers, we should be switching over to Sabahi. Actually, I go archers, which is the wrong thing. I think at this time I was in a conversation with um, Jizzle. He was like, yeah, you should go for Sabahi. Um... In terms of our resources, I have a lot of wood in the bank and I should be looking to get some production buildings out. Um, Jizzle, on the other hand, is going two archery rangers um, and switching over these guys to Stepahi. I now have switched over to Stepahi and I'm getting myself out of blacksmith just to get that, um, that building producing some more units quicker. Over by Purples, um, I have got just just a few spearmen just hiding out in the corners here, out of his vision. So if we were to go to look over at a little buff McDougat, he cannot see any of my spearmen. But I'm just keeping them there for, for a little bit of annoying harassment. He is pushing out with five, five archers. If we go over to my site here, I'm not too sure if I spot him out, but I do see... I think, I think I'm able to repel this. I go straight for another military school. Probably should start looking into getting production buildings rather than going to the secondary military school. I do get my busy air point. And I have wheelbarrow popping as well, but still floating a lot of food here. Should really be looking to get more people on wood, another building, production building out, and um, pushing to get a more of a death ball going. You can see James is pushing out with a reasonably sized force, like a really, really good sized force, with his... Uh, meta, which is going to be providing some attack. It says off, but it is it is on. Meta attack bonus, attack speed by 15%. But you can see that there are 10 archers here to defend against him. So does he switch over to... Yeah, he can get ranged defense drums, which is great. He's got his his scout actually um, actually handling uh, the, the, the vanguard of the attack here. He's pulling back because he does see that there are a ton of archers. Over here, I think there was just an engagement about to start. And I think I managed just to pull the majority of my villagers away. I should have pulled these back too. And I lose another villager. And these guys are... Yeah, they're just causing a little bit of harassment. I moved my, my, my wood line over to here. So you would have to run round. But I do have... Got, I have got myself a meta. Um, and I, again, I've messed up ensuring that these guys are switched over to um, Sipahi as well. But I need to look into actually producing stables to counter all these archers. James, on the other hand, is doing a great job of killing enemy archers and preventing gold actually being harvested. And over here, I just come straight in to kill these archers. And I have got these guys on ranged drums. So we just come straight in. He's having to um, pull his units back. And over here, I realize I do have enough resources to actually get some stables um, out out and about. So I just need to be a bit quicker on getting production buildings out. I think I hotkeyed this guy up and then uh, waypointed sorry, up and then started producing here. Let's have a look at purple. Again, um, he's got two, two blacksmiths. He's trying to pump out as many um, research uh, technologies as possible since they are free for the deli. And over by... 
by purple, we can see that um, Jizzle 89 has got a sizable force of archers and he has got a ram out and he's just going to look to pick these guys up. What I would have done, I would have pulled these guys back maybe to here, kept this ramming, um, but just kept your archers and stuff just outside of the range of the town center. Same with his meta. I am over by purple. He is expanding. He is building more houses. He's building houses around his, his berries. Um, I've already kept the space there for, for farms, but maybe I'll build some other mills later on. Um, Purple has now got a tower over by his gold, so he secured his gold for the time being. And meanwhile, I am producing a a force of um, Sapahi through two stables and two military schools. James, on the other hand, is still pushing to take out the House of Wisdom. Um, archers are winning against archers. Um, he does have plus one attack and also plus one attack. Yeah, uh, was it? No, plus one armor and plus one attack. But he does, does lose his meta there, so I don't. Yeah, he's lost. He lost his uh, his additional armor there. I'm coming in with my Sapahi and my meta, which again is providing ranged. Um, what should we call it? Ranged armor. Can't get my words out today. I apologize. Purple, on the other hand is is pushing back in he is actually using his um his scholars to claim the sacred sites while they are in age two which is an added be benefit of being being um the delhi sultanate house of wisdom goes down for boy of camel and jizzle is just pumping out as many of these rams as he can uh purple has come over to assist with holding off this onslaught but another town center is going up and he decides against it he pulls in all his villagers he must take out these rams and i've come in with my sapahi i then popped fortitude just to start chopping through these guys but enemy spearmen from uh, lil buff mcnugget come in from the flank here and take out jizzle's archers meta's still on the front here looking to Avoid Meta and my cavalry are looking to avoid these archers and I come round and recuperate with, with his units, with Jizzle's units. Jizzle has waypointed his um, his archers to creep here behind the tree line and we are looking to recuperate. At the same time I'm looking to snipe out all uh, scholars where where I can. Still a little bit slow on the uptake, but now I do send my men in to come take out the scholar. Meanwhile, in our bases, we are still pumping out... Well, I'm still pumping out um, cavalry, but not waypointing these appropriately to the front line. And over by the centre here, Purple is looking for the kill. Um, he is... James is looking to focus his archers, and I'm going to come in and take out... Sorry, not his archers, his spearmen. And I'll be coming in round the back here just to take out these archers. And James will do a fine job of finishing off these spearmen. A little bit hard to micro. I do find it hard to micro against Spearman because they just they just they just run at you. I just need to utilize my units better. Age up now is available for myself. I am floating a lot of resources as I was looking to age up ASAP uh, so as I could get the um, oh, what is that building? Uh, the building which produces um, siege equipment every two minutes or at least the mangonel every two minutes. After winning the engagement in the centre here, I then go for harass on the tree line of purple. Lil Buff McNugget hasn't really got much at home here. He has a couple of spearmen that are waypointing over to Orange's base. Um, but we're attacking in two fronts here. Bring in the spearmen. And then I bring in my spy just to try and kill some some villagers. Just getting a lot of damage off, off on them. But they just go ahead and get inside their town centre and archers come in to reinforce as well. Over by Jizzle's base, he's getting his second or third rather, his third military school out. Um, he has got three archery ranges, but all of these have been moved over to Sapahi, Metas and Spearman. Um, but he isn't really producing much units. He is floating a fair bit of food. Um, and I am also already going up with the Mehmed Imperial Armory um, so we can get that timing push associated with the Manganel coming out. Over by the centre here, there is a rogue, <laughs> a single hardened spearman looking to take out a whole platoon of um, Sapahi. But we go out, we're looking to regroup and really push home against Orange at the moment. Over by Purple, however, he has a huge 
huge um, ball of uh, archers. I think it's 16 in total, but I managed to spot this out. And I think, well, I'm just going to go in. And I'm going to wipe this force out. I have the meta um, ranged drums on, and I do also have additional plus one armor. So they're barely going to do much against uh, my 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 Sapahi at this moment. I think I do pop Fortitude. Yeah, Fortitude has been popped, and I'm just looking to chop these guys to pieces. He does slight my meta, however, but that is not going to help him in the long run. Over by the center here, um, Jizzle 89 is building another two battering rams. He's looking to push in home against Beware, Beware of Camel. He does, however, have two town centers that are just pumping out villagers at the moment. And over by myself here, I look, I've aged up, mangonels are coming out, and then I'm looking to get the barracks up and running to start pushing out men at arms to basically be a really good meat shield against the archers that the enemies are pushing out as well. And also to counter the spearmen. Over in Lil Buff and Nuggets base, he has got a substantial production uh, going on. Effectively, he has four barracks as he has got his uh, scholar garrison inside. I think it's a 100% increase in production speed um, and also in the archery range. So I mean, we're against, at least for purple, is four barracks and two archery ranges. Whereas in our base, I have got two barracks, two stables, two military academies, and a Mehmed Imperial Armory, which is halfway to pushing out our first Mangonel. Coming back home, just to consolidate, I can see that Purple is looking to take out my town center. I did build a forward town center here, hoping to secure more of the map and also obtain access to this gold vein. Red, on the other hand, is just going to push home. He's going to... Um, take out the House of Wisdom again. As you can see, Orange has not been able to age up. Purple has not been able to age up. Um, so it's it's very much within our, in our on, on the enemy side of the court in terms of what they're going to hit back with. Orange here is looking to build a stone wall for some reason, and maybe he was looking to probably get his units on there or just to block the rams pushing through easily. Um, over by the center, my town center is being taken out. Purple is uh, really going hard here. He is not supporting his teammates. So it's almost like a one-for-one -one base race at the moment. Over in the back here, which we just missed, is the enemy camel riders, which were looking to um, come in and do some economic harassment. However, my Sapahi is a lot quicker than those camels, and we just took them out. Over by the front, James is... Chisel, sorry, is, is just ramming this uh this town center he has pulled all 22 villages that he has and jizzle is just going home with taking out all of these villages um that is a lot that have been taken out i do not i'm not too sure how many were killed just then but it was a fair amount over by the front here of my base uh i have my mangonel which has popped out i am hiding my my sapahi behind this tree line and i'm looking to use uh, my mangonel to wipe out these these units. My Sakahi coming directly to take out all of these archers. So we wipe out the front line here. Uh, back line, sorry. The rams are coming in to come and do damage to my um, my, my my twin minarets of address. But I bring in my pull off my villagers to take, help to help siege down these these battering rams. And my I have a few men at arm here to help deal with the spearmen. Over by Beware of the Camel, there is still a fight going on here. James is able, Jizzle89 is able to reinforce his units and he's building more rams just to really push and hold um, a foothold within the enemy's base here. He is pushing through, he is taking out the enemy archers as and when they pop out. Purple, however, it's just got a ton of units just idle here, not doing anything. If he pulled them in, he would have wiped out this force and James would have been in a much worse position. After the engagement over in my base and losing my town centre, I decide to push forward. Uh, I think I have the initiative against Purple, so I'm just pushing in. I'm going to go in with my, with my Sapahi regiment into the rear, looking to just take out any kind of like economic um, output or in output from the enemy. So go for his food, go for his gold. Just going to sweep him round from the side here as I start pushing in with a frontline force. 
wherever that may be, which is here, idle. Over between orange and red, Jizzle has had to retreat as uh, Purple has now decided to use that idle army that was by Orange's base. Over by the back, however, I am going in. I'm sieging down this tower just to reduce the uh, defensive nature of this position. Take out all the villages that were positioned outside there. So that I only managed one, so I decided to pull out due to the two spearmen. And then I go back into the rear here just to stop any food being produced by these nine villagers. And by the front as well of his base, I have brought my men at arms just to take away all of the wood income. So you can see Lil McNugget is floating a ton of wood. So he's looking to get some actual actual farms out, but I've just negated that over here. Over by the base between orange and red, Angonels are coming out and just wipe out the whole army of, uh, of, of purple. Absolute back and forth game here. Gold 2, just to remind, so this isn't even top level. It's it's quite nice to see. Evenly matched, it would appear. But I think myself and James have, at this point in the game, taken the initiative. I, however, am floating 4,000 wood. I need to get more production buildings out, more farms out, more villages, more town centers, just so as I can, I can utilize wood more effectively. It's so something to learn. Production buildings, production buildings, production buildings. Over by Purple's base, just um, taking out all of his uh, houses to hopefully house him. If we look at him, yeah, I'd have to destroy quite a lot of houses just to get that close. But it does force him to build houses over here. So I am taking away a little bit from uh, from his from his wood resources. Over by the front of Orange's bases, Orange's base, two mangonels are sieging down again. Uh, the House of Wisdom. Probably not the best idea to put it at the front of your base. You want to put it behind uh, in a safe spot. Oh, and those mangonels are just taking out those villagers. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Orange has lost a lot of villagers this game. And another just go down. He is unable to age up at the present moment. And another double shot against archers and, and, and spearmen. Uh, Jizzle is going to be able to just just keep his his mangonel is going to survive and it dies. Oh, he didn't manage to keep that alive, but he doesn't have another one just coming in straight after. Over by Purple's base, Man at Arms are just sieging down any production buildings that you can see that they can see. And another town centre goes down for a little buff with nuggets. Since they are losing a lot of villages, they want to recuperate their eco economic uh, powers. However. Uh, yeah, I just come in with my camera. It's just a it, it's a battle of attrition from the frontier. I should have researched actually um, Siege engineering then I could have utilized all this wood and then easily pushed and finished this game much earlier Over by Orange's base just three archers two mangonels no army for either orange or, or purple really there is just nothing there's a little bit being pushed out here but both of them are so low on on food they're, 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 they're just unable to to get any units out in addition to that however um purple is short trading how much gold is he getting for one of those six gold six gold how is that even economically viable he should have gone positioned his guy up here it, these 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 guys are not going to pay for themselves over this such, such a short distance purple has amassed somewhat of an army here and i've lost a ton of sapahi but i do have men at arms that are going in here just to try and do some damage against these spearmen but they do go for the snipe they are looking to take out my man canal town center goes down again for for mars hill and we're looking to get some more gold while this is going up and we have stopped production. There is no more units being produced, mainly because, well, I don't know, I'm a bad player and I'm focusing on microing units at the front here. Man at arms do look to finish off all of the spearmen and another mangonel pushes in. Jizzle has got three mangonels and his archers are, well, he might lose this one, which is really unfortunate, but they're just doing nothing. Um, yeah, Orange is definitely out of the game. He is not. He's producing one one horseman at a time. No archers. He has no food. What's happening here? He just has a, another wood line going off. He's just not producing enough food at all. He has no upgrades. He has no food upgrades. He he's just not in a good place. 
he's unable to respond to this threat. Jizzle is, is just going to wipe out again a huge mass of villagers just as they are going to their suicidal deaths to take out the Mangonels. Purple is troll, still trying to utilize the, uh, the, the civilization bonus to the deadly by getting these the sacred sites for the gold income. But it's just not enough. Purple has nothing to stop this attack. He is making more archery rangers. He does not have the food. It's it, 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 yeah. You can tell from from just the caliber of all the players in here that they're, they're, they're not the best Age of Empires players. But we're gold. We're average. It's better than being the worst. Um, Jizzle is floating a ton of food again. I think he's looking to go to Imperial potentially. He needs 2,400 food, and I can't remember how many gold. I think it's 1,200 gold if I recall. But he. <laughs> He's got, how many is it, four, five, six, seven, eight rams being made just to finish off Orange. Orange hasn't got enough villagers actually to pull off and and take out all of these rams, which is quite hilarious. And over by Purple, just continuing a, it's just, it's, it is a battle of attrition just on this front line. I don't, I'm not pumping out enough units, but there are a few more now coming across, streaming across the map. Um finally getting it's still still i'm still stuck at two two military schools three barracks two two stables but they're not producing anything it's it this is a learning experience for me all of these guys should be producing farms on here i've got five thousand wood but i'm again just focused on the front and that's the game orange and purple have submitted and james and mars hill are pushing to go to plat no sorry i think it's gold three so we're very close to gold three um and i'll show you where our stats lie currently um but again another very i thought it was a very fun game a lot of action there back and forth between both sides um so it wasn't exactly a cakewalk um but if we go over to our statistics or mine i think i've only really played most of my two uh, team games with james i'm currently gold two if we go over to ranked, 54% um, rim rate with 11 games played, and then that's why 1v1, 5, five games played with a 60% win rate. So I've only played my placements effectively. Need to play some more 1v1s and get better at the game. Um, I think multiplayer rank gives you a bit more detail. So yeah, here we are. We're almost gold three, and then we can look to maybe get into plat. So it's all fun. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please look to like the video subscribe as well if you're loving this content um i've also been doing a little bit of work on dark tide so that's just pure gameplay not even talking about how being how to be good at it it's just fun um but i might i might make another youtube channel which is specifically for that and i want to keep this channel specifically just for age of empires 4 so i'll i'll, I'll link that channel um on on the channel page but again thank you so much for watching this is mars hill magnus signing out for now Ciao.